So it is November, short days. I mean, it's like 3.30 in the afternoon and it's sunset. Um, but we got a lot done on the pecs today. Uh, got all this laid down and we're still ripping some insulation to do uh, the thermal break around the outside edge. The concrete's gonna be poured up to it and we're cutting a bevel so that the top of the foam gets covered so I don't have a two inch kind of this weird foam gap all the way around on the finished garage. I'd say that looks pretty good. Pour the concrete in here. Right up to here, concrete goes all the way to the wall, but it's mostly a thermal break. So even if... Or whatever. Or whatever. Right, that was a nine. We'll make it, <laughs> we'll make it ten. Okay, so this here is a PEX stapler. It uses these plastic staples and they go on like this and get fed in down here. And then when you push on the handle, it just pops them right down uh, over the PEX. Trouble I was having with this is there's no uh, spring or weight or anything on this. So these would jam up real easy. And the problem with that is these are all barbed, so it's, it's pretty tough to pull these out. So I found I was using a side cutters a lot to snip the jammed one and then pull it out. Um, hold, having lots of staples on here and then uh, applying a little pressure on them with the other hand did seem to help. Uh, had a lot less uh, staple jams doing it that way. So with the stapler, you just... Set it over your piece of PEX, make sure the PEX is on the chalk line or whatever you did, and push down. And right there, like I was saying, no spring or anything. It uh, doesn't necessarily work that well, but I'm down to my last staples here too. And that's how the PEX stapler works. PEX stapler. But it's a rental, I gotta take it back. Here's where all the uh, pipes come in and out, and that's going to be the manifold I'm going to mount uh, above it. I did run one extra tube here uh, for a sensor tube. I just put some tape over the end, so that way I can push a sensor into here. I did space it between a feed and, uh, feed and a return line, so it should be kind of average temperature. And then the other end is just open for the moment, uh, but I'll be able to put a temperature probe in there. Thank you. 